Say you demons. You principalities. You must know this. I am a wonder. I am a wonder. Because my master. Jesus Christ. Is a wonder. His death was a wonder. His death was a wonder. His resurrection was a wonder. Now my life is going to be a wonder. From today. You Satan. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You must know. You must know that I'm a wonder. That I'm a wonder. Whatever storm. Whatever storm. In my life. In my life. Be calm. 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 You know, sometimes your life is full of noise. Noise. You know noise? Where there's no, no there's noise, there's no peace. Where there's noise, there's no peace. Noise. Thoughts of the world, they are noise. They are noise to the spirit. They are noise to the spirit. Say whatever noise. Whatever noise. That is input in me. That is me. I say be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. You know, so much noise in your heart, your mind, your thoughts are always crisscrossing. You cannot focus on one thing. You want to read the Bible, you can't. You find your mind wandering. Just like someone who is distracted by noise outside. When there is noise, you cannot concentrate. So when your thoughts are filled with worldly things, it means you cannot concentrate on the things of God. It's noise. Your spirit is not free. Your spirit is not free. When there's noise, your spirit is not what? Free. Noise in the spirit are those thoughts which are not aligned to the word of God. Noise in the spirit are those thoughts which are not aligned to the word of God. That is noise. As a result, you cannot hear God clearly. You cannot hear God clearly because there's noise. There's noise. Your mind, your heart, noise, noise. You know noise? Say, be quiet! Be quiet! growing. Oh. Keep growing in your mind. Oh. Keep growing in your heart. Oh. They build up a storm. They build up a, what? a storm. Oh. They build up a storm. You know storm? You start to have a headache. You can no longer think clearly. It starts as a small thought, but it grows big, 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 big. You know, a storm is got the potential to destroy. Only the storm is got the potential what? to destroy. So when those thoughts which are evil, they've grown in you, they've got the potential to destroy you. Sometimes they develop into bitterness, anger, hatred, all the bad things. Evil thoughts that certain put in you. Say you storm! You storm! Be calm! 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 You know noise? Noise in your mind, your heart. Say be quiet! body which you keep thinking about it creates noise 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 but the moment you focus on Christ there's calmness there's calmness say noise
stand your ground when you stand in faith you know how do you stand in faith by taking hold of the promise of God Amen. you hold on to his promises not staggering hold on to his promises for his word is pure his word is true every storm of life every storm of life every storm of life will be calmed where Christ is. Every noise will be silenced where Christ is. You know, our thoughts, they've got their source in what is happening to the body. It's all to do with your body. Your body. Money, unless it benefits your body, is not anything. You always want it for selfish reasons. That's why you're always thinking, thinking, what shall I eat? Thinking, ah, this one is not relating well to me. This one is not doing right to me. I've been fired from work. I have no job. It's all about flesh. All about what? Flesh. Say whatever storm. Whatever storm. In my life. In my life. Because. destroy you. You know that storm will destroy you. So you storm. You storm. Enough is enough. Start from your mind, your mind, your mind, your mind. The moment Satan has got to got in hold of your mind, influence your thoughts, and you allow it to, you are like one who is and who is standing to his garden. You know, garden, when you see a weed that's not supposed to be there, you weed it out. You weed it out. out. Such are your thoughts as well so that you don't allow the grass to grow too much. If it grows out of hand, it will require much more effort. You may not be able to do it alone. When the thoughts are coming in, you have got the power to take the thoughts out. But the moment they allow another one to come in, now you yourself, you are not able to alone. You now need superior power. Say Pika! 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 The moment why you cannot hear God when he tells you, my son, my daughter, I've healed you, it's because of noise in your mind and your heart. Because you miss out the opportunity. Unless you grab his word, you may never receive healing. Because healing is in his word. So unless you take hold of his word, you may never receive healing. And a heart, a mind that's full of noise cannot grab that which is pure, that which is holy. It cannot. Because light and darkness can never mix. <coughs> Say you noise! You noise! Be quiet!
there's too much noise. Noise. Particularly in the children of God. Noise. Noise. You dream, you forget your dream. Why? Noise. 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 And you know, the moment you think of the world, Satan is there to fuel up your last for sinful things. Those evil desires, they are fired up by Satan. The moment you entertain worldly thoughts, that's why the Lord says, set your mind on heavenly things, not things below. Don't set your mind on earthly things. Because to do so is futile. For it is to set your mind on Satan himself, who is your enemy. Why set your mind on your enemy? He will corrupt you. You will be defiled. Say you noise. You noise. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Jesus Christ never makes noise. He's, he's the still small voice. Still small what? Voice. He will never shout. He will not shout at you. But Satan will. That's why often, more often than not, you hear Satan more than you hear Jesus. And often he may advise you the wrong path that you may think is Jesus advising you. You know, Elijah had the brook. The sign that he saw. But Jesus was not there. It was who? Satan. Are you getting this? This tongue that is brewed in your mind. It gets cheered in us. That's where the damage is. That's where the damage is. That's why the Lord says, God, your heart is in you. How do you come be your what life? God, So when you don't guard your heart, from those evil thoughts, you know that a storm is brewing. Tell me that. When you cannot manage your thoughts, know that a storm is brewing. When you cannot guard your heart from those evil thoughts, but if your mind is managed well, only a mind that's managed well, a mind that's renewed, will ensure that your heart is properly guarded. Unless the Lord watches over your house. Watch over my city. Those who watch it, watch in vain. This kind of...